What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the new grad PT OT salary negotiation course. This is module five. In this module, I'm going to cover that if you have a skill that adds value to a practice, whether that's an insurance based practice or a cash pay practice, then you instantly have more negotiating power as long as you actually have a demonstrable skill. Now, what does that mean? A good example could be are you good with marketing? Not just that you have an Instagram account or some bullshit like that, but do you have enough engagement with your audience or can you build enough engagement with an audience to bring people into the clinic that is cash pay insurance based doesn't really matter but can you bring people into the clinic if you can do that your value has gone up tenfold in all areas because you can bring patients into the clinic and by demonstrating that you can do that you're going to have more negotiating power another thing could be running facebook ads you could run ads for the practice you can run lead magnets you have to have these skills in place, though, where you either have sales and marketing skills in place. You also could have tech skills that could help a practice if you know the practice needs tech skill help. But I would focus on sales and marketing. If you can get sales and marketing and know how to do it and be able to show that value during your interview, you're going to be able to negotiate for a lot more or certain performance rewards built into your contract based on your sales and marketing skills. Now, what else do you need besides sales and marketing? You can go into systems and scaling the practice, but that's more once you're actually there. But starting off, you're going to need marketing, which means can you bring an audience with you to that practice? Again, non-competes, it's going to be covered in another module. So no patients from another practice or any that violates a non-compete clause. Or can you be able to sell patients, clients on that practice? Now, if you can do either of these things or both of these things, your value increases so much that any practice owner is going to offer you more money or be willing to offer you more money if you build it into your contract. I've talked to lots of cash pay owners prior to making this course, and all the cash pay owners say that if you have sales or marketing skills, and even insurance space have said this as well, if you can bring patients to the practice where you can help them scale through sales and marketing or through tech systems or just the ability to scale a practice if you've done it before. Again, as a new grad, it's going to be a bit harder to do systems and scaling, but you can easily get sales and marketing skills from your undergrad degree, from life experience, from building an online business while you're in PT school, or just working as an assistant somewhere or out of practice, or maybe you do stuff for your school. But if you have these sales and marketing skills, you're instantly going to become more valuable no matter where you work at. So focus on sales and marketing, start small, see where you get to. Learning from experience is the best thing. There's really no course on this. There's really nothing else on getting better at sales and marketing besides actually doing it and truly understanding it. You can go into KPIs or key performance indicators and things like that later down the road, but just starting off, say, hey, do I have sales experience? How does that translate to this job? Hey, do I have marketing experience? How does it translate to this job? Can you work with tech systems? Are you good with tech? They could also be beneficial so there's less training on EMRs. And then do you have the ability to help scale a business? And if you do help scale a business, is there talks of percentage ownership in the future. Those are all things to consider. And this is why I kind of left this module to week five or module five of this course, because I want you thinking about everything. I want things to resonate for about a week or so. So you understand what I'm talking about. Go search things. If you have any questions, reach out to me. But realistically, you need to understand that your license is your first negotiating factor. But after that, the only thing you really negotiate is bringing people to the clinic, sales, and marketing. Those three things will be able to get you a much higher paying job than any of your colleagues if you negotiate correctly and if you have those skills. Now, if you don't have sales or marketing skills or can't do any of that, go figure them out and then try to come back and renegotiate. But if you can't figure them out and all you have is a license, you're going to get left behind. All right, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to put this one probably on YouTube as well, but the rest of the course I'm trying to develop more in private for people that have bought the course and for my private Discord members. But I hope you appreciate this content. If you have any questions, please comment below or send me a DM. Thank you.